Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Modern Golf. I hope you guys are having a great day and even better week. Today we're talking about, I think maybe the number one requested review I get from you guys are, what's the best shorts for golf? So today we're gonna tackle that. So we're going five, four, three, two, one. Five being, I would say my least favorite, obviously they're in the top five. We went through 17 different brands and ended up with these five and we'll kind of get into why we like them, why we don't like them uh, and sizing all the good stuff. So first one up are the, from the people that, from Bonobos. Yes, Bonobos, they were owned by Walmart at one point. I'm not sure who owns them now, um, but this is the Highland Tour Short. These are not cheap, $119 now. They used to be $79 a year or two ago. Um, go over features, what do I like, sizing, all that good stuff. So I, for Bonobos, I'm in a 34. My waist is probably about a 34, 35, depending on my ding-dongs I eat. Want to get into features. First thing you'll notice when you wear a uh, Highland Tour is they have a rubber grip here on the inside uh, to kind of keep your shirt untucked or tucked in, I should say. Um, they have their logo here in the back pocket. You can see I'll take I'll put pictures up of these. But pretty simple polyester blend um, short. These come in eight and 10 inch inseams. This is a 10, um, I'll put pictures up as well. Probably now, these are about a year or so old, I would probably go to an eight. Not that these are long by any means, but I think the trend is certainly shorter. Um, these don't have a ton of fancy features. For a hundred and some dollars short, uh, these don't have a ton, but I can tell you they have been through battles with me. Um, so they held up great. What I would like to see is this pocket gets a little wonky after time um, from holding my gloves and whatnot. I'd like to see a magnet or something cooler. Uh, but overall, very good shorts, not cheap. 119 bucks I would always wait till they go on sale but a great pair of shorts from Bonobos and that's the Highland Tour the next one up is probably from a brand that you may never even heard of um, I'm actually wearing their hat today but um, Asher Golf and a lot of people think about Asher Golf for their golf gloves I can tell you they make one of the if not some of the best um, golf shorts in the industry super comfortable super lightweight super stretchy these are all black these are also a 34 uh, just so people have a kind of a, a size reference these I believe were $78 they still make these what I will say with the Asher's they haven't held up as well this has a softer hand to it so you the velcro from your glove and I'll put pictures up kind of gets stuck on here there's a very small branding uh, with the Asher here again very standard um, super comfortable super stretchy I mean these are maybe the most comfortable shorts I've owned um, again what I would like to see is them do something with the pockets you know the problem I think we all experience is these pockets get stretched out and how they snap back um, but absolutely love Asher Golf if you have not checked out their shorts um, or their pants or their wardrobe kind of stuff very cool um, has a little pocket here for your ball marker or your uh, loose change let's say uh, but overall really really good shorts Asher Golf coming in at number four so number three is from, and I'll do a review later in the, in, in the year of this brand, and that's Radmore. These may be um, the most comfortable shorts I've ever owned. Um, and I have them in pants as well. Um, Radmore does some crazy, crazy great stuff. I absolutely love it. This is from their Slimmer Fit. These are the most stretchy, um, comfortable shorts I've ever put on literally and you're gonna say why are they at three and I'll get into that they almost get a little stretched out after a round or two um, so you definitely have to dry these and kind of get these kind of snap back in shape but love these pretty standard I'll put pictures up pretty standard fit pretty standard design the quality is ridiculously good the fit is good so I'm a 33 in the Radmore, just so if people are paying attention at home. So 34 in the first two, 33 um, in these. What I love about Radmore is uh, they haven't lost any color. Um, again, I like to have them snap back in shape, so I wash them and dry them after every round um, so they kind of get back to how they originally fit. 
super stretchy and what Radmore does if you're new, uh, if you're familiar, not familiar with the brand, super environmentally friendly. So these are most mostly love what Radmore is doing. If you haven't checked these out, check out Radmore. Again, one of the best brands. Um, and I think these come in a nine inch or eight and a half. I have to check. Let me look. So this model is the Vincent Slim Fit. It's an eight inch inseam. Uh, they call it a Slim Fit. I would say it is a slimmer fit. They're not huge leg openings, uh, which I love. But if you haven't checked out Radmore Golf, I'm telling you, some of the best gear and golf. Um, I love their brand. I love what these guys are doing out of, I believe, Seattle, Washington. Um, super great stuff. Absolutely love uh, Radmore. So Radmore, Vincent comes in at number three. Number two, which should be no shock to anybody because I've worn this brand for a bazillion years, and that's my friends at Dunning Golf. Dunning Golf makes some of the best golf clothing, in my opinion, in the marketplace. It just kind of... Um, They've been around for decades. Very, very fun stuff. Incredibly well breathing stuff. And the, and the bounce back for this stuff is out of this world. Um, these are just a pair of khaki. And I'm not a khaki short guy. Um, but I decided I'd get one this year just so I have some kind of cool colorways to wear with stuff. Um, but super stretchy. And for these, we'll get into the sizing. I believe I'm a 32. Yeah. So this is a 32 in Dunnings Tour Short. Um, again, super breathable. They have very cool pockets you can see in here. Um, their pockets are, are a little more reinforced in the back, which I like, so they snap back. Um, there's got to be a brand out there, and you guys let me know if I'm wrong. Um, there's got to be a brand that has a magnet or some type of besides velcro for these back pockets right it ha there has to be um maybe they don't do magnets because they get ruined in the wash or they're afraid they'll hurt people's pacemakers i don't know but what i love about dunning is the reinforced pocket um, super comfortable the split waistband which makes it even easier to do what i would like to see out of a lot of these brands bonobos does it these no other brand here does is some type of rubber thing to keep your shirt tucked in now maybe the the new thing is We'll keep everyone wears their shirts on tuck, so who cares? I don't know, but absolutely love Dunning. The players tore short. Um, I believe that's an eight and a half inch inseam. I put the specs up as well. And so number one, and again, these are all non-sponsored because people are going to say, well, you didn't do this brand or that brand. We went through 15 different brands, so I had a lot of stuff. But my favorite short uh, and, and brand is Peter Millar. And people say, oh, boo, Peter Millar. I would love to tell you something differently and say, hey, this brand is better. Or the, the hand, the softness, the travelability of these. Um, I haven't used anything quite like Peter Millar. Are they doing anything that different than everybody else? No. Um, but I will tell you, so one of the things I will say that I like about Peter Millar, which I don't think any of these other brands do, and I'll double check, I think Radmore is the only other option um, of these five is sizing adjustments, right? So sometimes you buy Nike, Adidas, any other brand, it just, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll look at Bonobos, I'll just show you guys an example. So it is just stitched right through, right? So if you want to get them tailored, taken out or in, it makes it more difficult. And so one of the reasons I like Peter Millar, if you need to get it taken in an inch or let them out, there's room to do that without really destroying uh, your short. So if you try to take in a normal polyester brand, branded short, uh, the tailoring. So that's one of the reasons, like I said, that Peter Millar gets our top spot is because they are tailorable uh, both in and out for the waist. I'll tell you, Time after time after time after time, I grab my Peter Millar shorts probably more than anybody else's. Um, again, comfort, the style, the fitting. I like that they actually use buttons for, the, for your pockets so your pockets don't sag in the back. I like the minimal uh, logoing here. I just think Peter Millar has it dialed in more than m some of these brands do. Uh, the fit is phenomenal. Again, this is a 34, so you've, we've seen we've run the gamut from my same waist, from 34s to 33s to 32s and they all fit the same um, but so you got to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into but i love peter millar this is more of a cornflower blue i'll put the specs up of these shorts these were picked up i think a year or two ago um, but i love peter millar i love the softness i love that these are appropriate everywhere um, some great shorts uh, again so our number one selection this year is the peter millar tour short so anyway, guys, I know people are going to say, well, you didn't do Red Vanley, or you didn't do this brand, or you didn't do that brand. I've tried them all. We narrowed it down to this. Um, 
I know one of the things that people have asked me about is like, do you like certain brands like the pull on shorts, which we've talked about the brand that we mentioned. I've tried them. I, I don't like a super thin short. I know some people say, well, I want to feel like I've got nothing on. You know, when you got gloves and keys and stuff in your pockets, I like to have a little structure uh, to my shorts and or pants. So maybe next year those guys will make the list. But to me, the top five shorts for 2024 are these guys. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't bore you to tears. Um, but if there's anything you guys want to see, let me know, and we will catch up with you next time. Thanks, guys.